In this part, we will be assembling inverse over there. So, just to make it clean. would be easy to assemble two back spears here to keep the panel in place. Because all the two top screws are important to this panel when we install in tape transport. You see, there is a panel inside, and I will be just fixing it with the back screws. Now we can install our tape transport in and we'll continue assembling. wires into the hole just to make sure that we would not struggle later. Did run. Well, it's done well easily. In place here in position. Two short screws from top. And 
too long from the bottom. Now we have to connect all wires back. So this one is the one, this one here. And done. Now carefully put all wires and put them into this like this like that so record it In rice head in the back head and connect it from the record head record work yeah down and the back head down Now we need to fix the backboard in place, maybe not all wires yet, but just fix it in place. supposed to be easy one
آره But it's for some reason it doesn't. It's a tight space and the excuse doesn't go easily where it was supposed to go. Now we may run all the tests before we will continue assembling. Okay, power on, open, close, put it back, works, pass forward, works, right, works. Let's check the tape pass. I have a mirror to set for that to see if we did a good job. I'm not sure how to better show it to you. Okay, it works. Do that, I would be able to show it to you. Let's see together. Perfect. I see no issues with the tape pass, so I believe we may fix it. and check some technical parameters first before we move forward. So this one is an oscilloscope. Close to the input. input. And there are two inputs on this deck. And it should be CD direct. Input, yes, like that CD direct, and if you switch to the source here, yeah, we have signal, good, a little bit different, but very, very little, uh -huh. And this deck has uh, output level minus two decibel on zero. Like, let's see, maybe it's a change. Okay. It's 
see it's minus two. And this is, okay. So it's almost minus three when it starts to light. So it's different from the other Sony decks I've seen. Usually they have minus five. I will have to check service manual. So let's check the speed. That's good. Stable. Three one forty seven. Nine three one forty eight. That's good. So our direct drive motor in a good shape. Now let's check the other button frequency response. So let's see how they not. Okay, level is there. Azimuth is not. So now it's 50 gigahertz and it's significantly off. So now I'm going to use my screwdriver. Remember, we use the lower one. The azimuth. Let me see. No. Yes, this one I hate. And lower one here is azimuth. We would need to change from factory settings. Yeah, no. It was not much, but it was different. Now it's fine. Let's fast forward. Check again. Okay, it's lower level. Okay, it keeps sizing it fine. Let's check that it will be top. On the going either side. I'm not sure if you can see. So it's lowers, maximum, lowers. So we need to find the maximum between both channels. Okay, you see 8 kilogears, it keeps well. Let's fast forward. Okay, and this is 10 kilohertz, almost, just maybe 2 degrees, okay, precise, moving forward, Okay, here it goes. 12.5 kilohertz. You can get even more precise. Okay, and it keeps face well. I'm enjoying. is 15 yeah this is 15 and it skips face so let me show you so it's tape playing and this is the face xy face on 15 kilogears mm. 
looks pretty well. Okay, and I believe a little, little, little bit. Like, adjust. Too much. Okay. And now it should go like minus 20 decibel. Yeah. You see, my oscilloscope is struggling to see these levels. But looking here, it's, it's pretty nice. Okay. Face is good. Let's check response level to see if head is still fine. After all these years, it looks very nice. I'm gonna show you. Close up here. Just give me a minute. Okay. Let's check the level. So this is playback. Zero. Okay, it's in phase. Good. That level differs a little bit. I will adjust output levels. So it would match. So let's. It's maybe 0 0.3 decibel difference. Plus. Now it will be full match and full zeros on the scale. Good. We have levels. You know, uh, on factory adjustment is like uh, plus minus half decibel perfect, plus one, was one decibel is okay. It's good. <laughs> I'm not sure how they do it. Okay, let's use this tape to see how well it keeps levels. It rewinds quickly, I like it. And silently. You see, we did a good job holding everything. Tape transport works smoothly now. Remove some dust from inside. I'm pretty much like this deck. It's built solid. And I'm eager to listen how it will sound. Okay, what we have? Three kilogears. Okay. Here is the levels, it's good. Minus five, minus 5.5, okay. Six kilogears, minus six, half decibel difference. It's okay. Eight kilogears minus seven decimal. Starting a little bit worrying. <laughs> That's what I'm observing on, on the couple decks. And they cannot keep up with the commission levels over the years. Yeah. 
15 kilogertz and level is low. It's in phase, escapes phase, but it's significantly lower than I would expect. This H. Let me show you the head. Still looks pretty nice. You see? But I don't see the response I'd like to see from this deck. Okay, so maybe this will be another part. I need to do other measurements to make and to understand what's next. Thank you. See you in the next part.